Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Don't Starve, shall we? Alex, Loki, good evening, good to see you. So, I am playing Don't Starve for what is going to be de facto my first time. Sydney, Neko, good evening, good to see you. I think I purchased this game in the Humble Bundle years and years ago. I believe I even fired it up, maybe 2015, and I did not get far. I just kind of saw what it was and, you know, maybe played for a few minutes. So I don't remember anything about the game, and I'm excited to play it because it's such a well-received game. People enjoy this game. People have recommended the game. I've been playing a lot of survival games, so I know it's a survival game, but that's about all I really know. I know, Sydney. I'm excited to see. Hey, Jekyll, good evening. I know, I'm late to the party on this. I can only anticipate that I'll die many, many times. So let's, let's get ready and starve. All right, I'm going to play. And I'm going to just go with a new game. Chamnuska, good evening. Good to see you. I can only anticipate I'll be terrible too. Now, I'm going to try the game on... A controller. It could be a big mistake, but I know this game is on like every. I think it's on Switch. I think it's on like every, you know, console. So I figure it might have reasonable controller support. So let's go. Uh, let me look at myself. Character. Um. Everything else is locked. I'm the gentleman scientist, Wilson. I will conquer it all with the power of my mind. And I have an asterisk. I guess that's my special power. I can grow a magnificent beard. That sounds pretty good. And the world... Um, I, everything is default, so I think I'm going to run with that. It's the standard don't starve experience. Kuro, good evening. I'd love a Jocka tree, but I don't know what it's going to take. Okay, Alex, thank you. That's what I thought. Oh, okay, it's... Got some pretty terrifying artwork. I don't know if I remember that. Oh, there's a nice lumberjack. Oh, it's a roguelike as well? Okay, well, I do like those. Say, pal, you don't look so good. You better find something to eat before night comes. Uh-oh. Okay. Wow, what an interesting presentation this game has. Okay, so I'm moving around, and I guess I'll inspect the flower. It says it's pretty, but it smells like a common laborer. Hmm. I'll pick it. And there's a bee. Uh, to be or not to be, that's good. I'll pick the flower. Um, that's another flower. I don't know. And let's see. What's this? Inspect the evergreen. It's all piney. Uh, let's... Baby trees are so cute. Indeed. Okay. So I'm going to pick up the tree. I got some pieces here. Now, I'm looking at the upper... Let me see if I can pause it. Okay, I can. I'm just going to talk about the game for a second and what I see just based on my observation. So, um... <laughs> That's awesome. That is pretty permanent, Alex. So I see I have food, health, and it looks like sanity in the upper right, along with a time wheel. And then on the left side of the screen, looks like I have some commands like crafting and building that I can do with the left trigger. So I'll investigate that. Um, can I... It's a tuft of grass. Let's pick it up. It was cut down in the prime of its life. Indeed it was. I did that. Um, okay, so I can use... I could do this. Um, it's a bunch of twigs with the right stick. And then left trigger says tools. Uh, to get an axe, looks like I'm going to need a stone. And to get a pickaxe, I'm going to need two stones. Okay, so let's go try to find some... Here's a stone right here. Um, or that's a mushroom. Never mind, I lied. It's sleeping. Okay. Well, might as well get some branches 
<laughs> yes, it feels like that, Kuro. It feels like it's got this Victorian feel to the visuals, which, yeah, give it that kind of, like, really disquieting Lovecraftian feel. I love the animations in the game. I love uh, the shading, <laughs> the weird 2D, 3D feel of it. Jekyll, I agree. The The cartooniness of it is hysterical. Alright, so I need some some stones. Seems important. Nothing. None of my vitals are like running out at a clip which distresses me horribly so far, so that's good. Just kind of exploring the map here. Oh, is this a stone? Here's a carrot. Okay, pick that up. Flint. Very sharp rock. Okay. Actually, maybe that's what I need. So let me see if I could craft... Yes, I can make an axe now. So let's do it. I did it. I made an axe. All right, so... Uh, I can create a campfire with some wood. A fire pit. I can make a torch. Okay. Um, a trap to trap creatures. A science machine. A spear for combat. And a garland. Okay. Uh... All right, interesting. All right, anyway, we made the axe. So, where is it? Oh, I'm holding it. Okay, interesting. So, I have an axe now. I guess I could chop this tree down. All right. <laughs> Pretty much, Jekyll. It's like, what can we do? Please, game, you tell me. Um, I'm picking up logs and pine cones. Doesn't look like there's any weight. I have, um, the durability of my axe is at 85%. You can see it going down with every strike. Here's some more flint. This looks really important. The water doesn't look like something you can interact with at all. It looks like a there be dragons kind of water situation. All right. So... I see on the bottom right of the central ribbon at the bottom of the heads-up display, I see my tools. Looks like I have armor, I have a hat slot, and I have... It's getting to be nighttime, which is alarming. My axe. And then I have some... Looks like the food is green. Uh, my sanity is going down a bit. Oh, this might be a new biome over here. Okay, thank you, Gemnesca. So there is a weight limit. I was wondering if it was just based on the amount of slots that I had. All right, so I can now actually make a pickaxe as well to break down rocks. So that seems useful. I have that now. And then I can make a campfire to provide light. And I can make a trap. And what is this? A parasol. Posh and pretty protection. Okay. Who doesn't need an umbrella, I guess? Uh... The spear, I need rope. And I gotta be able to craft... Rope looks like it's right... No, that's not it. Maybe I can make... Rope... But I don't have the recipe yet. Or I need the science table or something to make it. I don't know. Alright, it's beginning to be nighttime, so I'm just gonna make a fire. I don't know. I did that. Hey, Karen, good evening. Good to see you. You are so welcome. Yeah, I have no idea what's going to happen in this. I love the lighting effect on that fire, by the way. It's great. Let's see what we can do. I always like to check out Steam games that have, like, 200,000 reviews. You know, like, that seems like a game that people are playing. And so I just want to at least get the experience. I've heard this game referenced so often. I know there's a sequel that's a co-op version of this. I'm just picking up a ton of stuff. So I am getting hungry. I don't know if my fire will last forever. If it has a life of its own. Let's see if I can see the durability or the... It's getting a bit low. So I can add fuel. Which I guess is sticks. So the only visual indicator I have is actually the luminosity of the fire itself. And let me go into just, like, eating the berries. I don't know if I could cook it. Can I cook a 
carrot? Is that a thing? So let's see. Is this cooked carrot? Roasted carrot. Inspect. Mushy. Eat it. All right. Well, it gave me some sustenance. And then uh, petals. Now nah, let's go ahead and um, add fuel. Add fuel. Oh, can I add the wood as fuel? Yeah. Add the logs. There you go. And then uh, cook that. And cook that. I'm just going to cook. I don't know if I'm making this stuff worse, by the way, to to do that. But I'm doing it. Alright, good. Man, let me get some more wood, I guess. The fire is going out. It's horrifyingly dark. Loki, I agree. I'm like, what am I supposed to do now? I didn't gather enough wood to prepare for this. And I need to make a torch, maybe? Um, I'll equip the torch and maybe I can go around and get some more wood. Oh my god, I almost fell off a cliff. Okay, this is dangerous. Uh, let's, let's not do that. Um, alright, there's the berry bush. There we go. Oh, it's daytime again. Great. Oh, okay, thank you, Jekyll. Maybe I can do that in the settings or something. Alright, so, uh, let me go ahead then and select my axe and equip it, I guess. Torch is almost out. And hopefully my axe doesn't, or my torch doesn't lose durability when it's, uh, in the backpack. It doesn't. Thank you, Loki. I appreciate that. Oh, okay, Alex. So, Don't Starve Together is just the exact same game, but multiplayer compatible. I see. Bigger trees, more wood. All right, that makes sense. All right, I'm going to make a trap just because I can. You know, and see if it... if I can use it. Now, I don't know if... I think I set it by dropping it. I hope so. I need to definitely gather more wood for the evening. I'm getting hungry. I'll eat my carrots, I guess. Oh, the mushrooms have grown. Here's some berries. Alright. Got some berries. Got some carrots. So I've built the basic tools that I can create so far. I don't know how high things stack, but I'm just going to start collecting as much as humanly possible here. Chop it up. Sweet. Take that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and chop this down as well. And yeah, you can, we're about midday. So I have a bunch of pine cones. Let me see, what can I... I can plant trees. Alright, well... I mean, I probably need to repop the trees. I don't know what that sound effect is. Is that like... Um... Something going in my trap? Let me see. That's a big no. The trap has no luck. Alright. Okay, let's go chop the big tree. Okay, thank you, yeah. I see birds and butterflies, but I guess that's not what's going to get trapped in that. So, yeah. Let me, uh, maybe relocate the trap to a smart area. So, I'm going to go to this, and I'm going to plant that. I don't know. I'm re 
this is just sustainable foresting that they'll live much longer than I will. Godspeed. All right. What can I make here? I can make an umbrella, which I guess if it's raining, that seems reasonable. Um, the science machine and the spear are a no-go until I get uh, whatever that yellow is that sap, amber. I don't know what that is, uh, but I need it. All right, so let's let's go ahead and maybe um, let me pick up the trap and try to drop it in an area where I do actually see animals. That seems smart. Incredibly wise. Oh, it's gold? Oh. I need gold. It's getting late and it will be dark soon. Okay. Boy, you ain't kidding about that. And that crow looks really sinister. All right, well, I'm going to make my fire next to all these trees so I can keep getting firewood. I don't know if it's, like, essential to have fire, but it feels like it's important and it, that it also uh, maybe helps with your sanity, you know, to be by the fire. Oh, did my axe break when I wasn't looking? Helps your mental health. Yeah, Jam Nuska, that's kind of what I thought. I mean, that's... You know what's funny is, like, I've been playing so many survival games that were probably, in many ways, directly inspired by some of this. So, like, I'm using Long Dark, Green Hell, The Forest, <laughs> you know, like, every bit of these games that I've been playing to help understand this. <gasps> yes, Karen, you got that right. Geese can be downright diabolical. Oh, okay, Vinvine, thank you. So I'll just pull it, like, right over the groundhog's hole or something? I love that eraser over the door trick to teachers. Gets them every time. Well, yeah, put some logs on it here. I mean, that's a roaring bonfire at this point. Looks amazing. Alright, so it's not the really dark part of the night yet, so I could still, like, reasonably just wander around like a moron. Alright, so let's just say, you know, I wanted to plant stuff. Um, now nah, I can't really plant them. I can just, like, cook them or eat them, I guess. Well, nothing wrong with that. Just see what that's all about. Toasted seeds is what it's all about. Uh, cook it. Inspect. It's different now. It is. Eat. I don't think that killed me. Um... I'm just going to cook a bunch of stuff. So what I'm gathering so far about the game is that there are no... It doesn't look like there's skills or experience. It's just like you can kind of... Not that I can see right now anyway. Like I'm just kind of able to do this once I have the recipe or the means or whatever. All right, I'm full. I'm chilling by the fire. What's this? Uh, fireflies. Okay. If only I could catch them. Yes, I know. I don't have the stuff, though. And it says you have to have a science machine to, like, build the better technology. So I really need that gold. I guess it's time to become a prospector. No, what it's time to become is to use my, er, to use my pickaxe on rocks and try to maybe find some gold inside. But I really haven't seen any rocks yet. Oh, okay, Vinvine. Thank you. All right, that's cool. I love that there's other characters. So this guy's the scientist, so is he the only one that can build the science machine thingy? And the other characters have a different kind of, like, crafting station? All right. 
right, so I'm just uh, roasted. Oh my god. Look at that wormhole. It's got teeth on it. Science compels me to jump in. Uh. Hey, here's a hat. Can I get that hat? It's good for when winter comes. Pick it up. I'm wearing a hat. Better you than me. Okay, I got a nice hat. I'm going to jump in. This looks smart. What's down here? Oh my god. I'm in the underdark. What have I done to myself? Well, there's new stuff here. There's reeds, I guess. Um, oh my god. Spider-Man. Alright. Oh, he hit me. I couldn't run. That wasn't nice. Get out of here. I can't carry it. Okay. <laughs> I went into the uh, evil domain. It really looks like the evil domain. I don't think I'm... Yeah, it is literally a wormhole. I don't think I'm ready for that. I lost some sanity, but I'm back. And I see that there's going to be some crafting things that I need down in that other realm, but again, I'm just, I'm not there. Alright. Uh, I can't hold that much stuff, though. Uh, let's go ahead and plant all these trees. And I need carrots. I mean, that's just a given for eating. Alright. Do it. I mean, that carrot. Oh, man, this is the carrot. Victory. Alright, so... It's about halfway through the day. Oh, there's a... Kind of a groundhog. There's a bee. I'm gonna get away from that. So this is a good place to... Maybe have the next day... I see flint. I see a bunch of trees. The bee is scary. And there's a lot of them. So don't get me wrong, but... Get the berries. I get so funny. Like, I'm prioritizing... Uh, food. So much. Because the title of the game is Don't Starve. I'm probably like not getting things of other types that I need. <laughs> that would be hilarious, Karen. Alright. And I still... I feel like I'm going to find a big rock somewhere. I just haven't found it yet. It would be cool if I could build, uh... Like a storage chest. Oh, somebody's in there. I got a rabbit. Oh my god, that's a beehive. Okay, that was probably not smart. But it was funny. Those bees are scary. I killed him. Yes! Now those are killer bees, which is extra scary. I'm going back for it. I know there's going to be something good over here, right? Uh, let me go ahead and make a fire.
Okay. Mm. Yeah, there's so many killer bees. I'm not strong enough. Oh, man. I would get really angry if somebody in a Christmas hat came to chop my house with an axe. You got that right. Cooked morsel. I ate that. Uh oh, bees are coming. One down. I'm cooking the carrots. I'm going to work on some inventory space here. And maybe if I eat, I can uh, heal up a little bit. Oh, big. Good evening. Good to see you. I'm trying. I'm trying not to starve. It's the really dark portion. So I'm going to go ahead and just add fuel, add fuel, chill. Eat. Uh, probably cook it. All right. I at least don't. Oh, my axe. Oh, my God, my tools. Hear bees anymore. That seems like a win. Um, I don't know if I can make bags because it, I feel like I'm gated from everything until I get this science machine. Like, I don't see anything else that I could make. I can wear this garland. I guess it soothes the nerves. Ow. Man, this bee is not dying. Oh, it's raining. Oh, I gotta make that parasol, I guess. I need some flowers. Okay. Alright, let me see about... The honey is still here. We got a killer bee left. Oh, we got two. Okay. The stinger seems awesome, but I can't carry it yet. What does honey do? It says, uh, well, that looks sharp, but no, this. Looks delicious. Eat it. All right, got it. Picking that up. Um, I'm going to... I understand why these aren't stacked with my other logs. There we go. I know, Vinvine. I'm, I actually was wondering about that. I was like, well, the rain will surely stop them. No. Bees used to live in this. They did. All right, I'm going to... Um, 
I'm gonna drop these reeds and pick up the honeycomb. It just seems like I don't know why, but maybe I want that more. All right, there's a there's a hole. I should put my trap near that, I guess. Oh, I got some charcoal from my old fire. Okay. All right. So let's see here. I need to find boulders with gold streaks, says Alex. Yeah, that's what I've been looking for. I've got my pickaxe. I figure I just haven't seen them yet, and I don't know if I haven't found the right biome or if I have to go into, you know, the upside down to uh, find that. I hope not. There's the wormhole. There's a dead individual. And let's see what we can find over here. Oh, here's a boulder. Oh my god, yes. Here's gold streaks. I found it. Okay, so it's like a deserty kind of looking place. Alright, give me the pickaxe. Where are you? Equip. Break it. I got the gold nugget. Okay. I can't carry it, but um, what we're going to do is... Uh, I'm just going to eat, eat, eat. And then I'm going to pick up the gold nugget. And I can make the science thing immediately. Hey, Fading, good evening. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can make it. Here it is. Oh, I need uh, rocks. Wait, what is this? Are those just regular rocks? Okay, yeah, they're regular rocks. All right. Well, in that case... uh. I'm just going to get rid of this hat. It's at 7% anyway. There we go. Now I got enough to make the better machine. Alright, let me throw this baby down. Science machine. Oh no, I need more rocks. I lied. I was like, I've clearly got enough. Every, everything's great. I'm ruined. Alright, equip this. Go for it. Alright. Got gold. Alright, so it is getting late, and it will be dark soon, but I've got some trees here, and we're going to make the science machine. That science machine looks incredible, and then we're going to try to make a uh, fire. Okay, so let's see. Science machine, inspect. It breaks down objects into their components. Okay, so, oh, I can make, um... A luxury axe. Nice. Alright, so... I don't know, I... I used it to make the prototype? I made a shovel. So I could dig up all sorts of things from the ground with the shovel. Okay, that's cool. Alright, let me look about making bags or something. A chest is incredible, but I'd need planks. Rope is good. Um, for sure. Boards. Prototype it. And, uh... Wait, where did I see those ropes? Oh, here. I need some grass, though, for that. Beeswax. I'm just making as much stuff as I can. Uh, alright, let me add to the fire. It's about to get real dark here, so... Okay, everybody, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had a dog-related incident that apparently... You know, I got the dog some treats for Christmas, and maybe they weren't 
something that agreed with the dog and well they definitely weren't so we're we're okay now we're back okay i'm going to say we're at the science machine and it's daytime and i still have a problem where i just can't pick up any more stuff what can i do well what i need to do is craft a crate or something but i can't because uh well no i need three boards it says find the ingredients to craft i have them i just can't pick them up so let's go ahead and see if i could just try to drop something i don't know what is this honey um i don't want to eat that because i feel like it might be good so I'm going to eat some berries just to kind of stabilize. And I'm going to drop these rocks. And I'm going to pick up the boards. I have one. Now, one is not enough to um, build. But I can make more boards with wood. Okay. And then if I equip the axe. All right. Here we go. I think if I do this... Oh, I grew a beard. I am growing a beard. I can't carry more stuff. Can you carry the logs? Yes, you can. All right. I don't need a fire right now, but I do need one more um, board. And then this should allow me to make a chest. Here it is. Oh, but yeah, yeah, prototype. Okay, I got it. I'm going to put it right here. Now, this probably isn't a good place to you know, set up camp, but I'm going to do it anyway, and we're going to store stuff. Um, and I don't really want to store my pickaxe here, but I do want to store um, these here, and then I'm going to take this uh, spider web. I don't know about that, so I'm just going to store it. Stinger, we'll store it. Honey, we can store it. Beeswax, I'll store it. And then also, what else am I, like, not necessarily using? Uh, okay. Okay. All right, here we go. I can pick up these rocks, and then I can also pick up, I guess, this, like, shovel thing. Looks like I'm getting ideas to make more things. Um, oh, the pitchfork. No, 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 I already made this to move the ground around. And then I also made a shovel. And I think maybe I can do some basic gardening. Uh, I, need, I need poop, apparently. I haven't seen poop yet. I don't know if my own character makes scat or what the deal is with that. I'll pick up charcoal to see if I can use that for anything. Okay. So, hmm. Here's more gold. I can do that. All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Flint, rocks. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, if I want to make explosives, I guess this uh, nitro would be good. But uh, let's see. I'm not a geologist. No, I'm not. No, I'm not a geologist. So I'm going to store this. And I'm going to store charcoal for now. And I guess I'll store these seeds. Alright, so I have some more space. And I guess I just want to keep getting gold. You need it for a lot of things. And it's going to start getting dark soon. Um, but you know what? I'm going to need a lot of wood. So let me get my axe. Because I used all my wood to make my awesome box. There we go. Uh, 
Um, I mean, I guess I can pick up pine cones. You know, one thing I haven't figured out about the game is be, as time passes, if I stay in these, like, I'm just going to describe them as starter biomes, does the game sit day the same level of difficulty, or is it going to become increasingly more challenging as time passes? Because... I feel like if I didn't venture too far away, I could stay alive for a bit. My health hasn't restored, though. So that's alarming. Like, it, that just hasn't happened yet. So that sound is like me learning a new idea, I guess. I'm getting a light bulb or something. Okay. So, hmm. Hmm. What do I want to do? Well, I definitely need to eat. I guess I could store some of this for now. Did you hear that? Okay, I, speak of the devil. I just actually heard something. And that doesn't sound good. Now, can I make the rope yet? Do I have enough grass? I don't see any grass. I had been collecting some. Yeah, I hear something quite terrifying. My axe is gone. All right. Yeah, it's like um, the grunting... Oh my god, I can't make a campfire because I'm out of grass. Oh no, I had grass. I got killed. Hey, Somnaya, what is up, my friend? I'm so uh, glad that you're enjoying the content. Thanks for saying that. We didn't do great uh, on our first go. So what happened was I ran out of grass and therefore couldn't make fire. I, I did okay... But I now realize there was some scary noise, and then I had no way of dealing with... I don't know if you just die automatically without, you know, a fire, but that's kind of what happened. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and retry. Now, I... Exactly, Sydney. I didn't starve. That didn't happen. I got killed. I don't think I even unlocked any new characters, but that's all right. It's a learning experience. He has a backpack in this picture. We need to try to get this backpack. If that's possible. He just says I don't look so good, and I better find some to eat. Indeed. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm never going to underestimate the power of a good axe and a good fire. Let's see how much we can build on the knowledge of our previous escapade. Oh. The mushroom's already here. If I retry, it looked like it was generating the world. Yeah, this looks like a new environment. It, I think I'm just retrying with this character, but oh my god, I've got a sweet hat. I'm disguised as a berry bush. I don't even know what to say, but uh, let me inspect this thing. Eh, it might just be purely cosmetic. I don't know what to say, but I'm thrilled. All 
Alright, getting ideas. We're getting flint. And flint and sticks will let us make an axe. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up log. There we go. And we need so much grass, you know? Alright, um... Let's see here. Alright. I see how much time I have left. Okay, they started me right by the biome with rocks at least this time. So that seems cool. So what can I make? I can make the pickaxe right away. I'll need it. And can I make a trap? No, I need more grass. Man, always... Oh, look at all this grass. Oh my god, what are these death pods? Oh, they're killer beehives. Okay, that's a disaster. Now, I don't know if they pursue you. They do not pursue you indefinitely. It felt like they would. You know, what's funny is, honestly, I just wanted the grass. I guess I could find grass in safer locations. So what I think I'll do is just gather as many ingredients as I can that do not require crafting. And then once it's super dark, I'll have a fire down and I will do the crafting with everything that I've gathered. Now the biome is up here for the gold so I can build my science station. I can also trap these bunnies pretty easily. I just need to avoid the terrifying area with the killer bees. Here's gold everywhere. Oh my. You know what, Sydney? That's my thought too. Is like you have to be able to make a shelter. I just didn't get far enough. I just died before I was able to, but I was just starting to get there. Like, I had a storage chest. I was making boards. But there's got to be a way to do that. Oh, speaking of that, look at this up here. It looks like there's something going on over there. Uh, go ahead and equip your axe, and let's get some trees down. You know, I do love roguelike games, and I'm starting to get some interesting vibes and understand the feel of this a little bit. Alright, so what I can do is... I want to check out this. Like, this is totally a random structure. It looks like Santa's house. There's a garden gnome, um, but there's an evil flower that's, like, guarding this home with something in the middle that looks like a devious music box. I don't know what that is, but I'm, I'm going to avoid it. And I'm going to build a fire right here. It's going to get dark really soon. So my plan is, okay, it's going to get dark. My inventory is actually okay. I'm being a bit more selective. Let me try to get that science machine so I can just start building prototypes and all that. I do want to look through what I can craft so that I can maybe make a bag. Thank you, Alex. Thank you for checking on me, my friend. I am I am just fine. And so is the dog. She's actually asleep now, so 
like it never happened. Good luck with your long shift, my friend. Six days of those 12-hour shifts is brutal. Do you then get, like, six days off? To compensate? Now, let me add some fuel to this. All right, I'm going to craft the science guy. Right there. And then, let's see. We can now try and putz around. Uh, I mean, I could make a luxury axe to chop down trees in style. Oh, but I need an alchemy engine. Okay. I can make a shovel. Which seems good. And then... Let me add some fuel here. Let me look a little bit further. There's a pitchfork. This is a razor to shave off your dirty beatnik beard. <laughs> Interesting. Um, and then light survival. Let me see. Trap, bird trap, net, fishing rod, umbrella. Okay. Healing salve, compass, thermal stone. Here's the backpack. This is what we need. I just need some grass. Nah, always with that. Okay. Let's go ahead and cook some carrots. I'm actually getting hungry. I'm going to go ahead and add fuel, add fuel, and then we can eat, 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 and eat, and we're topped off pretty well. All right, so there's my science machine. And there's a beehive. Berries. But I need grass. There it is. I kind of want to experiment with these evil flowers. I'm sure it's going to go well for me. Why wouldn't it? Uh, beard hair. Oh, what's this thing? Fire staff. I don't want to set the world on fire. Okay. Well, I mean, you can light stuff with it. You can also maybe equip it and shoot things. Which seems cool. Is that scat? Oh, that's gunpowder. Good God. Um, I mean, that's, that's something else. There's bones. Okay. I'm just honestly running around looking for grass. I don't know if uh, there's a, a better way to get it. Maybe I'm just not in the right biome. Here we go. Hmm. I don't want to lose my science station. I'm also not sure, like, if the compass just ports, points, you know, northeast, southwest, or if it points to your spawn in some way. Box thing. This may control the polarity of the whole universe. I'm sure it does. It must be some kind of religious artifact. It is. That's a nice wall. I think I can fix this. That would be nice if we could fix it. Now uh, there's my science machine. And there's my fire still actually going. There's trees. The day's almost over. But, yeah, just not very much grass to make my backpack. I want to be able to collect as many things as I possibly can as I walk around. So the backpack is, you know, my top priority. I am running northeast 
and moving away from my science machine. So if I go southwest, I should get back home. Just kind of ranging about. I already stole that grass. Here we go. All right, so now I've moved a little bit south, so I'm just kind of like mostly west, or I'm sorry, far east from my starting place. It's getting late and will be dark soon. You got that right. So let me pick this grass on my... And now I'm finding, like, just a ton of it. I'm just going to go due west and see if I can catch up to my science machine and the stone house and all the other fun stuff. Sometimes you do need the flowers, too. So now I know that that little, like, bell sound effect is basically telling you that something on your crafting list you've just achieved the ingredients for. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make a new fire. There we go. And I'm not doing great on logs. But I should have enough. Uh, did my... No, my axe is here. Great. Now let's see about crafting that backpack. I think it was in survival. Here it is. Prototype me. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I have a second row now. Oh, yes. That's awesome. Pick up the charcoal. Now we can do as we please. My axe is about to break. It broke. I gotta chop it up. Okay, cool. Fantastic. So, at this point, I'm going to go here and need to add some fuel. It's about to be the, the really dark portion of the evening, so let's get that blazing. And let's see what we can do. So we can prototype the pitchfork, the razor... I mean, I guess. I don't know about the razor, but... Ooh, fire pit. A safer, more efficient campfire. Okay. Sweet. And then... As far as survival goes... Um, basic farm again. I need poop for that. We got the science machine. We need rope. And here we go. Prototype rope. Let's make that spear. I've always dreamed of that. I now have a spear. So I can fight people with my spear. And that feels better. getting low. I'm getting really hungry. Oh my god, I'm not paying attention. Here, cook this. Cook this. And go ahead and eat. No. The red cap is no good. All 
Alright, I need to do a better job and get some carrots and stuff. Oh, those seeds. Not good for eating. I should use them for my, my farming days. Okay. So these are evil flowers. Do they go into a different... They do go into a different list than regular flowers. Oh, there's just a random spear sitting there. Well, I guess I could have gotten that for free if I was intelligent, but I made my own. I brought my own spear to the party. Alright, I got a box thing and a gnome. Now, do I need these? No. Hey, Just Deli. What's up, my friend? Thanks for following. I'm gonna take it anyway. Um, gunpowder, I guess. Beard hair. I don't know. Sure. Creepy. It is creepy. We can agree on that. Well, there's lots of trees here. Oh, congratulations, Jess Deli. That's awesome, my friend. Yeah, Loop Hero is terrific. All right, getting the berries, getting the rocks, getting everything. so far away from my home. Interesting. Oh my god, there was a big turkey. My brain looks terrible. Beehive is good, though. It, I think it means I'm getting closer. Yeah, here's my little place. Alright, so I can make boards, but I don't really have enough uh, wood. But honestly, in this game, my concern is hunger. I'm not finding the same amount of carrots as I was in the previous game. Let me check my... I know I made a trap and left it. Let me see if I caught an animal. I guess I could be hunt, like trying to hunt birds. I gotta watch out for the killer bee area. It's around here. Alright, there's a bunny. I almost tried it. I don't know if the bunny will... All, oh god, there's the killer bee area. So here's where my trap is. Okay, good. It does have something inside. Great. Alright, let's go ahead and use this. Oh my god, look at that phantom. You could see it. That's terrifying. Alright, um... Here, can I just light a fire? At least I can start it up again. Um, can you use this to... Add fuel? Yeah, you just add fuel. Okay, great. Well, that's a win. 
Let me see if I have any... I wonder if I can just add the charcoal. Let me see about that. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so my sanity is still going down, even if I'm next to the fire. I don't know if burning the dark petals is a good idea. Oh, okay, holding these might be hurting my sanity, actually, so... I'm just going to burn them all. Okay. And then... Man, my food situation is dire. Where's the meal? Here it is. Um, we're going to cook this rabbit and eat it. That did not give me as much satiety as I thought it would. Hey, Sergeant Slaughter. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. I really thought that that would be, you know, uh, significantly more. Hey, Straffin. How's it going, my friend? Good to see you. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, I could try to take their honey to eat. Oh, my goodness. There were not that many killer bees the last time I did this. Interesting, like, this doesn't do as much damage as you'd think it would. Like, setting a bee on fire, you'd think it'd be dead. But... It's not... It's not doing that. These bees are angry. Now, they're giving me honey, which I can, um, eat. I know you can make better stuff with it, but right now I'm really hungry. So let me go over here and add, uh, this charcoal to the fire just to keep it going. It's almost daytime. And can I, uh... I think with the science machine, I can do something with the honey. Like, I can make a, uh, medicine of some kind. I might have just imagined that. Yeah, here's a tent. So this is kind of like what Sydney was talking about. I could make, um, this to restore sanity, but it costs time and hunger. So I need rope and spider webs. I don't really have that. alchemy engine is better but it requires whatever those cubes are. Oh, cut stone. Okay, that's what that's what the cubes are. So maybe I can make the alchemy engine now. I need planks. Oh, God, and I need a lot of them. Lightning rod. Protection from lightning strikes. Well, I mean, that does seem important. But no, I need food. So let me go check out the food situation with my trap. It really does mean that. And I think the only place I found spiders so far uh, was down through the wormhole. Alright, so I'm going to go check out the uh, hive. I guess I can eat flowers. Man, there's still so many killer bees. Uh-oh. There was like a shadow creature that was I saw. I felt like I saw. Right. 
This time they didn't drop any honey. We got stingers only. Not like actively against stingers, but here we go. Oh, they don't restore any health? Okay, thank you, my friend. I'm just looking to get some hunger. Okay, so here's the wormhole. or some food restored to restore my satiety meter. I can go there to get those spider webs. Occasionally, the bees will drop honey. I got some honey. Well, I have a spear and a dream. I think maybe it's time that I actually try to go down there. I do need a bunch of uh, lumber to survive the night. I don't think that fire is going to make it. So we're going to need to repopulate with pine cones when we get a moment. I mean... We need trees again. I've been doing some heavy deforesting. All right, there we go. Take that. I know, we're hungry. going to be dark, so let me head back to my fire, and I'll eat. I hate eating the honey. But it does prevent me from dying outright. Take that, B. Hey, Jekyll. Good evening. Good to see you. Um, I have made a backpack. <laughs> and I've learned that I need to get a more sustainable source of food, like a farming engine or something. a way to hit these crows before they fly away. Like, if I use this... It'd be nice if it actually killed that bird. Oh. I got it. Okay, that does it. The fire stick just kills the... Yeah. There you go. I guess I'd s I'm just making barbecue at this point. Okay, delicious. Ashes. No. Maybe the crows don't provide good food. That guy flew away before he died. That's rude. Let me add some, uh... The beard hair burns really well. Maybe that's why you want the razor. You shave off the beard, you get the beard hair, it burns great. Alright, let's see, what can we make? Beeswax. A useful... Preservative wax. All right, I guess make it. Hey, spaceman. What's up, my friend? Good evening. Good to see you. <laughs> and what else can I go for? Uh, I have a new idea in the structures category, which is 
a hay wall. Well, I mean, it's not the worst idea. Oh, look, you can make a, a pig house. And, yeah, you can make wooden flooring and you can make cobblestones. So you could just make on a, a full-on house. I just don't have anywhere near the amount of resources to, to do that. But I like the idea of it. I guess I'll make a razor just to make it. Alright. So we're almost out of the darkness. There we go. <laughs> the mushroom ran away, which is funny. Let's see if my trap has food in it. Okay, here's a bird. See if we can get some food out of this. Ah, we got ashes. I mean, when I look at the ashes, what am I thinking? All that's left after fire has done its job. Indeed. So basically what, they, what they're telling you is that it's not a guarantee that you get food. If you kill the bird. Sometimes you do. That time we did. Maybe the crow could leave me food. It just hasn't been. No. I need these, like, spooky cardinals. Alright, so let me get back to... Uh, I'm going to eat this. And then from here, I can uh, cook this and then eat that. And I'm going to go down the hole. And I'm going to just see what happens. I'm going to drop this garden gnome. And uh, I'm going to drop this musical box. So I have some room for some new items if I find any. And then I'm going to equip the spear. And let's go. Do I know what's going to happen? No. But, oh, well, this time it didn't take me into the upside down. It just took me to another part of the map, which is actually pretty useful. There could be food and stuff here. There's definitely bees and flowers and grass. I mean, this is reasonable stuff. Berries. Here's carrots. Good. There's Shadow Guy. I don't want to see him, but he's there anyway. And we could chop down these trees and, you know, be doing very well. Uh, give me the axe. About halfway through the day. Get some logs. Keep my fire going. And my inventory is once again full, but that's okay. I'm going to select my uh, fire stick. And try to get some food. Guy flew away. It's raining. Hey, he gave me food. How about that? We'll take it. And I'm just going to keep on chopping wood. And go back to my spot. All right, we got some more food, which is beyond tremendous. Okay. I think I'm losing sanity because of the rain. 
Oh. Boy. Did I leave that trap there a long time ago? Or did that skeleton leave that trap there? Hmm. Interesting. Going through the wormhole. I'm going to go back to our starter fire area. And now we have some trees growing in, which is cool. And I'm going to uh, toss in a few logs. There you go. Alright, and then let's see. Well, maybe we can get some food out of this. Cook these carrots. Oh, he tried to fly away, but he did drop the ashes. Sure, Straffin. I need to, um... I'm shaving. And I can put the beard hair in there. Now that's a blaze. Uh, I need to build a structure. I need a tent. What does the tent take? So the straw roll will let me sleep through the night. Okay. That's always useful, just to pass the night. But if I want... Um... Structure. Now maybe it was in survival that the tent. I, yeah, here it is. That's right. I need spider webs for that. Okay. And I need poop for the farm of any kind. Okay, thank you. Okay, so yeah, I mean, he said it's not a sane thing to do when I went into the wormhole. So that does make sense. So, um, build near rabbit holes. Great idea. The sounds are terrifying. I did hear that. It's not good. I know, Jekyll, it's it's a bad sound, but we're we're still alive. No, we're not alive. I mean, what was that thing? Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't have eaten the monster meat, but hey. It's, it's part of my, you know, if I kill the monster, you gotta eat it. Feels good. Alright, so let's build some more traps. That's a good idea. Is there anything, like, against having a whole bunch of traps around in the same area? Like, does it not work? Or 
Is it okay to just put traps all around by the bunnies? I don't know. I don't know if it's like diminishing returns or just not wise, but anyway, I'm doing it. And let's see, where's my axe? Many traps are good, thank you. I'm gonna build a million of them. Sweet. So you can just kinda hold the A button when you're around a bunch of stuff, and if, as long as you have inventory space, um, you'll pick it all up. I'm good at kiting the bees, but that's really all I've been fighting. Oh, thank you. Okay, so let's... Um, I noticed the crock pot. Let me see what I need to make one. I'm going to lay another trap, by the way. They're being mean to me. They're running away. Alright, let's look at it. Let's look at the croc. Oh my god, look at that thing. I see you, Shadow Walker. Alright, so croc pot was over in... It needs charcoal and sticks and charcoal itself. Okay. Well... Charcoal you get from burned out fires, but I don't know if there's another way to get charcoal. Okay, thank you. Just put them right on their hole. Okay. Yeah. Seems about right. Do you mean just burn the trees where they stand? Or just make a campfire and let it go out? Let's see. Now, for the alchemy thing, I need planks, which are not that easy. Oh, okay, thank you. Alright, I made some boards. Honestly, I just need one more board to get the alchemy engine. So that'll be nice. He dropped food for me. Thanks. I went for the eyes. Oh, he burned a tree. Okay, interesting.
Now that evergreen is on fire. Uh, it didn't work. Yeah. Chop the burn tree. Oh, okay, thank you. Are these trees right here big enough to, uh, to burn? Oh, yeah, here's charcoal. Here's charcoal. Great. Hey, Soap Shield. What's up, my friend? Good evening. Good to see you. Gameplay similar to Morrowind. That's a great question. Hmm. Morrowind's a great game. Oblivion and Skyrim are good as well, but they're not the same as that game. Um, thank you. Cool. Those, those trees close by are big enough? Great. I'll make a torch, and hopefully I can just light it up with a torch. Oh, boy. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. Well, that's the whole forest. I did something really bad. Guess I don't have to worry about the darkness, though. Hey, Chef Smitty, good evening. Good to see you. Well, I'll have charcoal for a long time. Lumber, not so much. I should have cut some of those down before I did that, but hey. Now I can make a crock pot. Oh, wow. You usually make around four? Okay, thank you. That's a good tip. Do you have more than one campfire, then? All right. Let's go. I got you. So I just need some more cut stones and some more sticks. Okay. I'm getting hungry. Let me check my traps really quickly. Can't carry it. Um, man. Oh, it went back in the trap. That's hilarious. Okay. Uh, oh, my goodness. I'm overburdened with stuff. Okay. Oh, thank you. With the shovel. Perfect. I need to make a chest at this point. So, cut stones are easy. And sticks are usually pretty easy as well.
Well, that feels great. I'm going to go ahead and go here, and then I can make the uh, boards to make the alchemy machine. There it goes. All right, that feels good. And then let me go check on these traps again. Yes, that's a great point, Straffin. I mean, like, I, that forest fire went up so quickly, it was terrifying. Look about, let's get some sticks to make that crock pot. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't want to make it so they, you know, won't come around anymore. Jekyll, is Shipwrecked a uh, DLC for Don't Starve, or is it like a separate game altogether. going to get dark. We've got to prepare. He's hungry. Oh, the cut stones. Right. Well, we've got a pickaxe. that. My pickaxe break. Fine. Make a new one. Go, go, go. Sweet. Okay. So, from here, I'm going to see about... Can I refine some cut stone? Cut stone. And then can I make the uh, crock pot yet? I need one more stick. Good lord. I was so close. All right. So while that's going, nice, okay. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, can I make it the alchemy machine, huh? A stone wall, All right. I guess I could make the garland as a better hat. And maybe it'll help with my sanity a bit. I'm going to drop that hat. Alright. So from here, I'm going to go out and check my traps. Oh, I don't have any space for traps. That's a shame. Let me drop this garden gnome and this music box. 
Let's go. Alright. Anybody get lucky? No. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and... You know, put it right on top of the house. There. Alright, that should be a little bit easier for me. Then I need some sticks. There we go. Always need grass. Sticks. Sticks. Sweet. You know, I think this game is... I know it's 10 years old, but... It's on sale for like two dollars and fifty cents right now. I think it's a really good game for two fifty. I realize that they've like quality of life and and iterated on this formula quite a bit, but it's still fun. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can make that crock pot finally. You know it. And do you build it on top of the fire, or do you build it, like, next to it? Maybe it needs its own fire. And what? I put in... Chef Smitty, you know what? I own Torchlight 2 as well, and that is a great game, too. Um... It generates its own fire. Okay. So if I put this guy in here, it, it can't go in the crock pot. Um, what about seeds? Can't go in there. Okay. Um, well, I need to find, like, carrots would probably go in here. Oh, you have to kill it first. Okay. That murder option just always seems so scary to me. I guess I... Now I know. Alright, now we can try it. Boy, the trap right on top of the hole works pretty well. Alright, let's head back. And I'm going to drop... I'm just going to eat these seeds. And then I'm going to go to murder. Okay, murder. And open. And then I've got this uh, morsel. And cook. Cook. I don't know. Uh, sure. And then I guess I need to, uh... Can't go in there. Does it not start cooking unless... Oh, okay. I was gonna say, you have to have four items. Thank you. Okay, great. I didn't know if I needed to light the fire or how that was gonna work out. Okay, well, we can do that. Got berries. See if those can go in there with the the meat. All right, and let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. So one more berry would go well in there. Pine cone, grass, oh, 
Oh, okay, you can just put a stick in, but you won't get as much hunger. That makes sense. Shrooms can go in there. Okay, cool, thank you. Now, let me see if I can find one to pick up. Oh, no, I have another bunny. That'll do. All right. So now I want to cook it. And I'm making something. So let's let it simmer. <laughs> Look at this. It finished. I made meatballs. I cooked it myself. Yes, I did. Eat it. And everything went up, it looked like. Well, everything, all of my radials flashed anyway. Whatever that might mean. Okay, so while it's getting dark, I'm going to go ahead and chop down these trees. Hey, Lord Max, what's up, my friend? Thanks for following. Oh, it's getting dark. There's eyes out there. All right, I better get close to my fire. Is it just like at one point when you get far enough in the game if you don't have any light for the nighttime when it's in the darkest phase you just die automatically? Or is that from the very beginning? Or is that not always the case? One time something came and got me when it was dark, but it, it might have just been the hellhound, and I just didn't, wasn't able to see it. Alright, now it's light. Okay. Interesting. Oh, my axe broke. Alright, so I'm going to shave my beard. Now, is there any purpose to shaving your beard? I mean, it just gives you that beard hair, which seems to be actually a pretty nice fire thing, but... I don't know if it has other uses or if there's any other purpose to shaving your beard. Looks like my sanity goes up when I'm smooth shaven. Oh, the beard gives you warmth? Oh, okay. Well, then maybe I don't want to shave it off all the time. Oh, okay. How do you know what season it is? There'll just be snow everywhere. Okay. I didn't know if there was like an on-screen indicator of the season. Uh, like on the UI or something. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. Makes sense. I think I can make a chest. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to start putting stuff inside. So, for example... Gunpowder. Beard hair. I'm not really using the pitchfork that often. And when I say not often, I mean ever. Rot. Um, I guess my flowers expired.
Okay. Hey, Ryan. What's up, my friend? Thank you for the tip about baiting the traps. Interesting. That makes sense. Alright, um... I'm gonna go... Okay. I'm just gonna go exploring. I obviously need spider webs. I'd love to build a tent. I don't know if it's necessary. Hmm. It's getting late in the day, though. Do you guys like building the uh, sleeping bag just to rest through the night, or do you try to build a house? Hey, Big Vlad, good evening. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you. I wondered about those roads. I wasn't sure what those were. There's a lot of little interesting details. Do you guys mind if I ask, is everything... Is there, a, like, a guide or a compendium built into the game? Or are you learning most stuff just by uh, trial and error and, uh, exp you know, just seeing what does what? Because the game doesn't really give you much in the way of instruction at all. It's just, it quite literally says, don't starve. And that's about it. all I saw. <laughs> So, digging the grave was hurt my sanity. Makes sense. Okay, thank you, everybody. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing some kind of, like, really important, like, in-game guide or something. Here's the road. Oh, yeah, you're totally right, Big Vlad. Look how much faster I go on that road. Yeah, Big Vlad, it feels like that would be necessary because there's just so many moving parts. So what is this? It's a ball and cup, so it's for fun and games. I wonder if, like, that'll help with your sanity or something. I'm putting it in the crock pot. Trust me. It's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, that's what it feels like. Hey, Clumsy Fox, what's up, my friend? Good evening, good to see you. It's, that's a great point, Jekyll. Yeah, I'm worried about that. And I have my little rabbit traps, but I don't know. I might want more of them. Oh my god, here they come. No, I got to get back to my house. Here we go. All right. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and murder, murder, murder. He's hungry. Cook. 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 Eat. 
light. Oh no! I think I pushed the wrong button. I meant to cook it, not to burn my crock pot. Oh man, I think I wasted everything. I should not have used the crock pot with a torch equipped. I, I wasted all my food and the crock pot. What a disaster. At least not everything burned, but... That's sad. It it was the same button that Cook would have been, which is B. It just wasn't there. It was just lighted. I wonder why you would ever think that that would be the context button that you would want in the game. You're like, yeah, definitely what I'm trying to do is burn my crock pot with my torch. That's that's 100% my goal. <laughs> Not not light it to cook, just to destroy everything and all the contents. I wonder why that's even an option. Um, beyond just trying to punish the player for having a torch equipped uh, by the crock pot. Alright. So I gotta build another crock pot, which is gonna require a lot of stones and charcoal. I have the charcoal. I have the sticks. To be honest, it's just stones. I can get it back. The real killer, though, is the fact that I had... That was three bunnies. And a mushroom. Ah. Uh. Oh, well. Now I learned. Don't ever use the torch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, when it's a full moon, you can stay out? That makes sense. Oh, cool. Thank you. I think I did get a honey way over here. I killed one bee. Be before I had to start running away. There it is. My trap is about broken. That's alright. Alright, let's try to make that... Let's see. So, to make the crock pot... I need just stick. Or, uh, the big stones. That's right. So, refine, cut stones. Is there any way to, um... Doesn't look like it. Do more than once... Like, make three stones at the same time. Doesn't look like that's the thing. Alright. There we go. We're getting there. Honestly, oh, okay. Man, traps are doing good. I was wondering how to get the birds without my, like, thing that shot. Let's see about that. Bird trap. Oh, it takes webs, though. I gotta find spiders. Is hunger depleting strictly based on time? Or does doing strenuous activity speed up the rate at which you lose, you know, you become hungry. Yeah, the only time I found spiders in the first game was when I went through the wormhole.
I got some berries anyway. Do you need to be out at night for the spiders? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up my charcoal and put it in there. Okay, thank you, the graves. Alright. Alright, we got a couple of things in here. Oh, wow. That doesn't sound good. Oh, that guy dropped like a scroll. Ow. It's weird, like, the game doesn't let you just swing. It targets one of the bees, and sometimes the game targets, like, a bee that's way in the back. And then your character is just running into the pack of bees way more than I want it to. If that makes any sense. Yeah, I, I didn't want you to chase that bee. I wanted you to just swing your, your weapon. But whatever. Ow. Okay. Now, what is this thing? Bundling wrap blueprint. Uh-oh. Ow. No. Well, I mean, it's dead, but we're almost dead. All right. I mean, that sort of helped us. Okay. Learn it. And I guess we cook with it. Okay. How about that? Oh, my God. I didn't want that many bees. I could have done with like one bee. Yeah, I'm just going to run from them this time. Alright. So, we totally need to go get spiders. I don't have enough spider webs. And by enough, I mean any. All right, here's the graveyard.
I mean, uh, there's a big pile of something. Don't mess with it? Oh, okay. I almost did. Oh, my garland is wilting. Okay. I need them spiders. Where are they at? Why spiders? Hey, player one. Good evening. Good to see you. So, I need to find... I'm guessing that digging up the uh, graves always messes with your sanity. I don't know if it's worth it or not to do it. My sanity is certainly better than it was. Yeah, Miner's Helmet will be awesome. There's just so much stuff that I need. All I have in here is monster meat. Okay. Well, I could put these in here. See if I get anything else. There we go. One. Two. My trap broke. There we go. Need to make another trap. Alright, let's cook. We're cooking it. We're cooking it. I ate that. There we go. Ah, I really filled up my belly that time. Alright. So let's look at what we can make. Let's see, what do I want to make? Like, what don't I have? I mean, I don't have so much. I did make the alchemy engine. Um, the divining rod. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, I made the spear. Oh, grass suit. I can make some armor. Um, maybe that's cool, but if, if it's wear the grass suit or wear a backpack, I pretty much have to wear the backpack. Um, football helmet. Be mine. Good lord. Thermal stone. Oh, you can pick up the backpack and then put it back on over your armor. Log suits better. Okay. I like that. I need rope. I'm making it. Okay, yes, you can. Oh, but you can only wear one or the other. I see. So you just use it like if you're going into battle or something. And then my stuff is inside the backpack. I see. 
interesting. Pretty brutal. Alright, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make this. Oh, I see. So you put on the log suit and then fight and then put the backpack back on after you're done fighting. That makes sense. Alright, so let's see about, uh, Bundling wrap, fishing rod, healing salve, compass, backpack, got that, straw roll. Yeah, I might want to make that at some point. Alright. Alright, well, my f hunger is okay. I see. This sounds terrifying. Yeah, my health isn't good, and I don't have the means of restoring it, I don't think. The healing salve required some stuff that I just don't have. So do you guys... Is the spear the best weapon I can have right now? Is that what you'd recommend to the... I'd be using. Honey food will heal me. Okay, well, I do have a bunch of killer bees, but fighting that many is not ideal. Here we go. Here's some carrots. Okay, thank you. Well, good to know. Alright, I'm gonna... I guess I'll take these flowers. Oh, bees. Maybe there's a beehive around here. Nah. Let me see about this. Let me find a spear. Clip it. Hey, Ronaldo. What's up, my friend? Thanks for following. I'm gonna bash that bee. There's the honey. Let's go. Look at my backpack jauntily bouncing there. I got him. I guess sometimes you can just straight up kill him if you block their hole. Oh, cool. Excellent. I'm so glad you're enjoying that, my friend. Yeah, that's a great game. All right, I'm going to make a good meal. I'm going to go... I can use the honey. And what we're going to do is just cook, cook, cook. And then... I don't know. Cook? Cook? Yeah. I'm going to go up this way while my food is simmering. It is a good backpack. Indeed, the best that there is. So I'm gonna I know there's a beehive up here. <laughs> that is awesome, player one. It's I mean, I was just talking about that. Two dollars and fifty cents for a hundred and fifty hours or a hundred and fourteen hours of fun. That's pretty good. Oh boy, that was way more killer bees than I thought. You know, it's interesting, like, there's a killer bee hive. 
And then this is just a regular beehive, but it's filled with as many killer bees as the killer beehive. Well, maybe two less, but still. Why aren't there regular bees in there? I got cheated. All right. Anyway. I think I already got the bundling wrap blueprint. Honey. Honey. Give me the honey. There it goes. Let's take the road home. That makes sense. They're out looking for flowers. They leave the killer bees. Ooh, a frog. I wonder if I can devastate this guy's life. No. He almost killed me. That was way more challenging than I thought it would be. You'd think normal frog, I kill it. That frog, not normal. Superhuman. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and cook. And cook. Cook. It really is, Big Vlad. I didn't grab the DLC yet because I wanted to just try the vanilla. But I'm wondering if uh, it would be a good idea to pick it up. From what I saw on the Steam comments, people said that the DLCs are like almost entirely different games. But I don't know if that's true or not. Oh, cool. Okay. Wow. So frog legs are 0.5 meat. Interesting. I got a lot of trees. I guess I should chop down some trees. It's getting dark. These trees, now well, they're good enough. So I have eight days before winter. Can I build a house out of, like, is it like, a, you know, Rimworld or something or Terraria where I could just put down log walls and log flooring and make a house? There we go. Now I've restored some of my health. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this. Where if I want to go to structures and say I can make a wood fence. But I don't know if that counts. No option for a roof. Heat stones are the best. Interesting. You could put down a new floor. Yeah, I was looking at that. Whereas, like, yeah, wood flooring. But I don't know if it's worth it. So what you do is you just build the walls, and then you put the floor, and then maybe you put a sleeping bag, and then some kind of... Um, heat stone or a thermal stone or something to keep yourself warm? Ooh, fur roll. Okay, straw roll. Right, I need some rope. Okay, thank you, player one. Somebody else was recommending that shipwreck game. Oh, 
Okay. So let's see. That um, stone you're talking about, the thermal stone, is... I know I saw that somewhere. Like it wasn't actually... Lightning rod. No, no, no. Thermal measurer. No, no, no. Oh, they're one-use items. That is terrible. I'll never make that again. Alright. I guess it'd be too good if you could just keep sleeping through the night. Oh, I think I need to be closer to these machines to be able to do it. Um, okay. Ryan, that makes sense. Thermal stone. Here it is. Stones. Stores thermals for travel. I made the prototype. So this thermal stone that I have right here. You're telling me it'll keep me warm or I have to pick up something and put it inside there. Uh, let's see. I need to make a pickaxe. Do it. You put it near the fire to heat it up. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I see. It's it's like radiating heat now. Okay, cool. That was a good day of trapping. There is nowhere to go. That makes sense. I'll definitely make a second one. Alright, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, murder. 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 I'm making honey and... Rabbit stew in the crock pot. Oh, it stores cold for summer. That's cool. I kind of want to make the luxury axe because I can. It says it lasts longer. Do the gold axe really... Does it really last longer than the regular? Okay, cool. And then, if I want to make another thermal stone... Salt lick. The miner hat requires a regular hat and fireflies, so I need a bug net. So again, we're back to the world where I need a... Uh, spider webs. And I just haven't been very fortunate in acquiring those. I'm going to drop this regular axe. And we're going to equip this. Let's get some stone. And some more gold. Four times longer? That's really good. I like that. Oh, okay, thank you. I don't know how to make honey ham. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Two big meats and two honeys. And you mean in the crock pot? Okay. But are, are bunnies big meats? Are they big enough? Pickaxe broke. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. Uh-oh. Go. We gotta run. Oh, no. Do I not have a torch? Run. Alright. Okay. There we go. Does this bush hat, like, do anything in terms of keeping you warm or offer any protection? It doesn't have any description, so I don't know. Does it let you sneak up on animals or anything? <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can make a better... I'll make a golden... Spear, if that's possible. Okay. I just got it for free, so I was like, maybe it's good. Opulent pickaxe, do it. Make it. Alright, we got the thermal stone. It makes me hungry just to look at it. Do it. Sweet. So I have a thermal stone, I have an axe that's made of gold, as well as a pickaxe that's made of gold. And we have the science machine, the alchemy engine, a chest with some ingredients. And honestly, we're doing really, really well. Uh, we're on day 14, which isn't horrible. And I can eat this and get a bunch of food. And, you know, we've healed up a bit. But the winter seems terrifying. And I've had a blast getting a first look at this game. Everyone, it is indeed my bedtime. I want to say to all of you Don't Starve players who have come in and given me advice but not spoiled the game, I really appreciate it. I got to kind of experience it but also get some helpful tips. It's been great to learn the game. I've been having a, a really good time with it and I look forward to playing some more. We'll be playing in RuneScape tomorrow and on Thursday we're going to do Nessus if you're interested in coming to check it out. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day. Neko, Steven, Chef Smitty, Straffin, Jekyll, Player One, Sydney, Fading, Ryan, Ronaldo, Lord Max, Just Deli, Black Bear, Yes, I would recommend buying it. It's so cheap, Black Bear. Big, Big Vlad. Clumsy Fox.
Spaceman, Somnaya, Kuro. Take care, everyone. Have a great one.